In just six days, more than a dozen people in Little Rock have fallen victim to gun violence. Two of those turning into the year's latest homicides. Mayor Frank Scott Jr. speaking on the violent weekend in today's media briefing where he explained an acting true change takes time. Our Katrin Asaf live in downtown with what's being done and how some neighbors feel about being so close to crime. Katrin. Well, Kevin, it's been eight weeks since a public health emergency was declared in the city due to this rise in violent crime, and neighbors are still reeling just from this weekend alone. While city leaders start to plan a course of action for combating this crime, those in Little Rock are just trying to wonder what comes next. Awesome. By now, even setting up is routine. Scoot back just a shade more. Just another part of Katie McGowan's day, adding some ink to the people of Little Rock. We have been tattooing here in the neighborhood for almost three years. The Stiff Station resident feels comfortable settling in for a masterpiece. It's safe, there's not really a lot of riffraff. But Saturday, a different color painted the neighborhood. Flashes of red and blue after a man was killed just feet away from McGowan's sanctuary. We're just a few doors down from Pizza D, so I was definitely shocked. It was one of close to a dozen shootings that Mayor Frank Scott Jr. tackled in his latest briefing. We have to address it for the long term. Laying out a plan that will stop the violence for years to come. It's important that we save our generation because it makes no sense that we have youth that are dying and do not see life past 25. The outline includes adding more recreation options, community policing, and intervention techniques. But in terms of what's being done now... The areas that we know, based on the details and the intel that we're providing, we're in those areas. Chief Keith Humphrey says police will do what they've always done, targeting high crime areas and increasing patrols. As leaders mark their own path... So is McGowan. It doesn't make me any more fearful to be in this neighborhood because we really haven't had a history of a lot of action like that. Hoping the one night of crime scene tape will be the last. Now, Scott did say that we are actually seeing a downward trend in terms of the rise in violent crime. We're up 11% currently as opposed to 26%, which is what we saw at the end of January. He did say that we are seeing some improvements, but there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. Reporting downtown, Katrin Asaf, Kevin.